Good morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. I did not because my daughter is struggling with a fever. So I uh, I've been taking her temperature all night and I've uh, yeah, I've been busy with uh, being a mother. However, I'm very, very grateful that I am a mother and that I get to take this responsibility and feel this enormous love. Uh, she is, she's so adorable when she is a little bit sick because she's so, you know, clingy and uh, just, just lovely. Um, <clears throat> so I'm very, very grateful to be her mother. I'm also very grateful that she seems to feel better. Um, it's always, you know, I always get worried when she's not well, even if it's like a fever, you know, if it's nothing worse than that. And my sister who's a doctor, she thinks that I'm worrying too much, but I guess that's also a mother's job. Um, However, I've been watching a TV series now, uh, just um, started screening here in, in Sweden, and um, it's called Eva something. Uh, it's about a Swedish woman who um, decides to you know, have a child on her own, and, um, and she's very like, uh, you know, controlly freak, and uh, oh my god, it's hilarious. It's, I've just been watching two episodes. But it also describes, you know, the Swedish woman so much, and I think it describes like a a big problem that we have in society now that you know is that we can do so well you know alone that we don't really need you know in the terms of you know we don't really need a partner for um you know finances or um other things but i i think uh, that no woman, you know, no woman, not not a woman, not no human, uh, no person in the world can live, you know, on their own. I think we all need each other. We are, you know, flock, a tribe. You know, we we have always lived in tribes, and and I think we need a, a tribe. You know, whether it's your family or your circle of friends or. Um, your community, you know, like I have a community in my fellowship also. <clears throat> and I'm also very grateful for my sobriety. And today I got to listen to a speaker that has over 20 years of sobriety. And um, I used to see him a lot in meetings because uh, when I got sober, my fellowship was really small. So all of us saw each other on all the meetings constantly. But now the fellowship is much bigger and um, I guess we go to different meetings because I haven't seen him in a really long time, but it was really amazing to see him and to listen to him today. Uh, I was really, yeah, amazed and, and it was fantastic. Um, so I feel very grateful for being sober also for such a long time and for continuing working the program, um, even with that time, you know, and that is the whole purpose of being sober within the 12 step program. But step, step 12 is to pass the, the solution on. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm really trying to do that um, in the best of ways that I can. Um, <sighs> I'm also very grateful for you. I'm on 230,000, which is so amazing. And um, yeah, wow, thank you for each and every one of you who has subscribed to my channel. And if you have not yet, please do right now. Um, so that I can reach 250,000 really quick. <laughs> it would be so amazing, a uh, quarter of a million, you know, it's, yeah, it's, this is out of the world for me. I'm just amazed by the whole thing. Anyway, we're gonna do some yoga. So get down on your sitting bones and straighten your back. Tomorrow I'm going to the airport to try on my uniform for the job I'm starting. I'm really excited about it. Oh, I'm so sorry. 
I'm cleaning up for the breath of fire that we're gonna do. So I should have done that before, but I forgot. So we're gonna start taking control of our breath on the inhalation, feel how your belly is expanding. On the exhalation, drag your body up and towards the spine. In. We're gonna come back to this breathing eventually, but first we're gonna do the breath of fire. We do that by pushing our <coughs> belly button towards the spine quick and hard. Inhale to start. Very good job we're gonna do. We're gonna do the hip row, inhale forward. Exhale back. <coughs> oh, I hope I'm not getting sick. Huh? Does sound like I'm getting towards that state. I hope it's just, you know, clean up from, from what I had when we were in France. Beautiful. We're gonna do a stretch of the spine by just leaning forward. Uh, so come up with your back and exit bend from your hip. if there's any difference on your right and on your left side. Inhale, come up and exit bend. Inhale, 
come up <clears throat> and come out the joints. We're gonna work in a wide leg forward bend and we're gonna do it first with a twist and then with um, and then in a straight forward. So come up with your right arm, grab hold of the other part of your left foot and look over your left shoulder. With your left arm, grab hold of the other part of your right foot and look over your right shoulder. And come to the middle. And we're going to do straight to forward bend. So come with both your arms, exit bend from your hip, grab hold of your big toes. On the inhalation, straighten up and on the exhalation, come further down. We're going to finish today's class with a short meditation. Close your eyes, focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking out. Let your third eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area, you find an inner room where you're going to spend some time just for yourself. There's nothing that has been and nothing that will come. It's only you in this very moment. Your 
for us because take a pulse to your belly, to your mouth for you to speak the truth and to your heart for you to follow your heart and to be kind to yourself and to other people. <coughs> Thank you so much for today. No, to go. Thank you. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow.